Hi, this is Lucky Robin, and this is my 2021 food preservation plan. I did not make one last year, but I did make one in 2019, which I will link up in the corner um, if you want to compare how things have changed. Um, didn't put one up last year because things were a little unsettled with the virus. Now things are calming down a bit more, um, and... I feel like I can put this up this year. Uh, so for vegetables, I'll be canning 104 quarts of green beans and 104 pints. Assuming I grow that much, I uh, easily canned 104 quarts this year, or last year. Uh, potatoes, I want 104 quarts and 52 pints. Tomatoes, I want diced, I want uh, 52 pints. Now, um, this is the order of importance of things that I want to can on the tomatoes. Um, if we run out of tomatoes or I just haven't grown enough, then it, this is the order of importance and the stuff towards the end will not be done. So I would like 26 quarts of spaghetti sauce, 26 quarts of ugly sauce, 26 pints of salsa, 52 pints of ketchup, 26 quarts of enchilada sauce, 26 pints of tomato soup. I want to pickle 12 pints of radishes. I want to pickle cucumbers as garlic dills and sliced 7 pints. Uh, bread and butter pickles 7 pints. And then I want to ferment uh, garlic dill pickle spears in the pickling crock. I'd also like to ferment cabbage in the pickling crock. For parsnips, I would like to can 26 pints, turnips 26 pints, carrots 52 quarts, celery 26 half pints or 12 ounces depending on the jars that I have available. Corn 52 pints. For fruits I would like to can at least 12 pints of Italian plums. Plums are always a little iffy. Uh, some years we have like such an abundance that there's more than we know what to do with and other years we get a windstorm at blossom season and we don't get any plums. So hopefully this will be an abundant year since last year was a windstorm at blossom season year. Pears, I'd like to do 28 quarts. That's two boxes. Nectarines, I'd like to do uh, 28 pints. That's one box. Apricots, I'd like to do 14 pints. That's one box. Apple pie filling, seven quarts. For applesauce, I like to do 14 pints. I may also do some half pints depending on what we get from our tree this year. Um, I would like to have some either applesauce in the one cup or chunked apples for putting in curry. So we'll see how that goes. Blueberry pie filling, I want seven quarts. Strawberry jelly, I like 24 pints. That's the one that gets used the most in this house. Uh, it's the favorite of three out of four of us and the second favorite of the fourth. Blueberry jelly, eight half pints. Blackberry jelly, eight half pints. Bumbleberry jelly, eight half pints. And I may or may not make apricot jelly. I didn't put it on the list. I still have 12 half pints. So um, we'll see as the season progresses. I can always take the canned apricots and make more jelly as needed. All right, I'd like to can 14 quarts of strawberry lemonade concentrate, 14 quarts of watermelon, 14 quarts of regular lemon, and seven quarts of blueberry concentrate. Then I would like to make a gallon of orange concentrate. This stays in the refrigerator. It's good for six to eight months. Um, so you can just take out and make your orange aid as you go. Um, I may decide to can it, but uh, since there's so much sugar in it, it preserves it so well, there may be no need. 
I suppose if I get towards the end of its life and I still have a lot left, I can can it then. For me, I like to can 52 quarts of chicken, 14 quarts of turkey, 28 quarts of beef chuck roast, and 26 pints of salmon, depending on how much salmon we catch this year. Uh, broth, I'd like to can 28 pint and a half jars of chicken because a lot of my recipes just call for three cups. And then 28 half pints because there's a lot of them that call for one cup. Turkey, I would like 28 quarts. Beef, I'd like 14 quarts. Beef and onion, I'd like 14 quarts. I like to use the beef and onion in uh, French onion soup and French onion chicken. Uh, lamb, I'd like to have 14 quarts. That's about the amount of soup bones that we get, what it'll make from a whole lamb. But um, I do make broth uh, through the year, uh, so if this runs out, I'm always making more. Condiments, I'll need to make seven pints of yellow mustard, four half pints of Dijon mustard, four half pints of spicy brown mustard. For my culinary herbs, sweet basil, I'll need one quart. I'll need one pint of Thai basil, one quart of sage, one quart of oregano, one quart of thyme, one quart of parsley, one pint of marjoram, one pint of rosemary. I'd like one quart of cilantro, one pint of celery powder, two quarts of celery leaves, one quart of nasturtium leaves, one quart of nasturtium flowers, and one pint of nasturtium buds. Uh, the buds can be ground and put in food in place of pepper. If for some reason you can't get a hold of pepper, uh, the leaves can be used much the same way. I like to uh, rehydrate the flowers and put them on salad. They're very tasty, nice spicy peppery flavor. For spices, um, I like to dry my garlic and ginger in little pieces and then grind as needed into powder. So um, I need two quarts of diced garlic and two quarts of diced ginger. I probably will just buy the peeled garlic from Costco and the big tub of ginger from Costco until I have enough of what I need. Um, I've had issues with garlic burning my fingers and it's probably just easier for me to not be dealing with it any more than I have to be with the constant peeling. Paprika powder, I want a pint. Cayenne powder, I want a half pint. And if I don't manage that much, at least a four ounce jar. Natural powder, I'd like a pint. And chives, I'd like a quart. Now for teas and medicinal herbs, um, bee balm petals, two quarts. Bee balm leaves, two quarts. Calendula petals, two quarts. Yarrow, two quarts. Echinacea petals, two quarts. Comfrey, two quarts. Comfrey is really good for poultice. If you sprain your ankle, um, it helps bring the swelling down. So um, just wet and crush the leaves and then uh, put them in a warm washcloth and wrap or bandage and wrap it around your ankle. It really helps with the swelling. Um, comfrey was also called bone knit and they say if you put it on broken bones, it will help it heal faster. Um, I don't know if that's true from personal experience. I just know about the sprain. Uh, raspberry leaves, two quarts. Blackberry leaves, one pint. Uh, my blackberry canes are going to be new. And I don't know if, how many leaves I will be able to harvest without harming the plant. Uh, we have a ton of raspberries, so that's never a problem. But uh, have to be careful. But raspberry leaves and blackberry leaves can both help if you have diarrhea. And then spearmint and peppermint, I'll just be drying whatever is available. The The plants are in pots, so they never produce a ton. I think I'll put them in bigger pots this year so they'll have a chance to spread and grow. Okay, fruit. Um, I like to dehydrate four quarts of the Italian plum prunes so they will become prunes. And those are good to have on hand in case of constipation. Freeze-dried and long-term, um, I like to have six number 10 cans of chopped onions on hand at all times. Um, I use these onions to make my onion powder. I don't really like uh, dehydrating 
onions. Um, I don't like the smell and I don't, uh, it permeating the house. It makes me cry and makes everyone cry. And also they're so wet. They take forever to dry out. I would just rather, uh, do it from the powdered or from the, the freeze dried onions. Okay, um, I like a number 10 can of freeze-dried strawberries. I'd like six number 10 cans of yogurt bites, preferably pomegranate or cherry. I don't know if they're making number 10 cans anymore at Thrive Life. I might have to get the 10 packs of the pantry cans. Um, six number 10 cans of powdered sugar, six number 10 cans of brown sugar, six quarts of pure maple syrup, and six quarts of honey. Uh, maple syrup and honey never go bad. Uh, maple syrup could develop mold if you don't refrigerate it after opening, but it doesn't always. It's one of those weird iffy things. Honey may solidify, but you can uh, bring it back by putting it over a double boiler. Okay, for staples, uh, th I like to keep on hand three quarts of olive oil, three quarts of avocado oil. We use avocado oil in our fryer because um, it has a high smoke point. And uh, so I keep a little more of that on hand than I might normally because of that. Uh, two five gallon buckets of oatmeal, two five gallon buckets of white rice and two five gallon buckets of brown rice. These can be ground uh, into flour. In my flour mill, um, we are gluten free. Well, three out of four of us are gluten free and the other one's working on it. So um, having that on hand to grind, it keeps better in the pure form than just buying the flour. But some flours we don't have a choice about. Two five gallon buckets of cane sugar, Four three gallon buckets of tapioca starch, four three gallon buckets of potato starch, one three gallon bucket of xanthan gum, 24 boxes of gluten free pasta. Um, I also have unspecified quantities of s sorghum flour, millet, buckwheat flour, or buckwheat groats, and almond flour. Um, I have not found bulk sources of this that come in a bucket yet. So um, that's what I'm looking for. And then I'll have a better idea of what I'm going to keep on hand after that. Last but not least is my freezer plan. For vegetables, I would like to have diced zucchini and I'll toss it with basil pesto and we will uh, vacuum seal it in 26 quart sized amounts. It, uh, food saver bags because then we can use it as a steamer bag in the microwave uh, just like the stuff that Costco has. Um, probably do 12 quart bags of zucchini shreds as well. I'd like to have 12 to 24 gallons of sliced onions. Depends on the harvest. Bell peppers sliced. I'd like to have 12 to 4 gallon 12 to 24 gallons of those as well and 6 to 12 quart bags of diced. Again, that all depends on the harvest. Uh, potatoes, I'd like to make uh, 50 pounds of Jojo's. Uh, uh, French fries, I buy as needed from Costco. They're the only ones that have uh, French fries that don't have soy in them. Uh, I would buy enough to fill up whatever space there is in the freezer after everything else. Um, a one gallon bag of diced poblanos, two gallon bag of diced jalapenos, and a two gallon bag of Anaheim's diced. And then broccoli and cauliflower, as much excess that's available. Um, I haven't really in the past planted enough to freeze just to eat fresh, but I think this year I will be. Because we eat a lot of broccoli and some cauliflower. Uh, for meat, I want to buy a half a beef, although if I can save enough money, I'm really thinking about getting a whole beef. A half a hog, a lamb, uh, 52 chickens, two whole turkeys, and then I buy or grind as needed. Ground turkey, ground chicken, chicken legs and thighs, or boneless skinless chicken uh, with or skin on and bone in, depending uh, what I can find. 
60 pounds of salted butter, 20 pounds of unsalted butter. And then for fruit, I like to do Italian plum halves, as much excess that is available. Usually after canning and drying, I still have enough to fill two or three gallon size bags for the freezer. Uh, blueberries, eight gallon bags. Uh, we get from our two big blueberry bushes, and they're, they're big, we get anywhere from eight gallons to 16 gallons of blueberries every year. Um, so it, it's never been less than eight. So I always put that, but there may be more that go in. Uh, sugar strawberries, I would like 26 containers. Uh, we save the soup takeout containers, so that's what I use. They're about a quart each. And then blackberries, as much excess as is available. I don't know, again, how much these canes are going to produce in their first year. I just know that they will. So that is my food preservation plan for 2021. And I hope that this is helpful to someone. We are a family of four uh, adults. Uh, my kids are college aged and they're at home. So this is what I've decided will be good for our year. Thanks for watching.